Okay, here we go. Maybe the last round, maybe not. It's the same guy we played last round. Mm, ooh, that's a good turn one. We might be sniping something, though, depending on what he plays. And we're almost certainly going to throw this Death Blighter back. If he doesn't have a two drop that's worth killing, then we'll just play the Wolf Raven. What is it? Ugh. And I don't want to waste a Saber Spine on that. Like at all. Alright, do I want to make the same mistakes I did last time? Uh, I think we'll probably run out the War Master. It's just a much better creature. And I'll probably put it right here. Lots of three drops. Well, we're probably going to mulligan one of them away. Ideally, we can come up and take care of his blood tier alchemist with our general. And if I had to guess, we would want to try to cryogenesis so that we can maybe hit the snow chaser. Which would allow us to have another play this turn. Ephemeral Shroud. Well, that's no fair. At least he doesn't have Knight's Arm Assassin, am I right? Ooh. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's go this way. Alright, we're going to come here, put the Jaxi here. Attack this, come up here, attack this, Saber Spine this. Would I rather use the Cryogenesis? No. I think I'd rather do this. It prevents him from having a Death Watch trigger if he has ends up having that later. And this does one extra damage. Although the knowledge of what I get with this would be nice, but... I think we have two Snow Chasers and one Crystal Cloaker. I think that's it. And a Glacial Elemental. Horn of the Forsaken. That's <laughs> perfectly out of the way. All right, what's happening? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm going to get rid of Repulsor Beast, I think. Hmm. All right. I don't want it, this to die just yet. If I can help it. I do want this creature out here. And I'd like this out here as well. Let's play around Grasp of Agony the best we can, I suppose. Man, I really don't want him to have... I, I don't want him to get a whole bunch of triggers. So I don't want to move here and let him kill off two of his things. Hmm... I think that's better than attacking him. This is basically getting off one durability, right? All right, what's he got? Oh, that'll be good. Presuming I don't need to cryogenesis something. All right, if he has um, the priestess, which I think he probably does. I don't know why he put his stuff over here. That doesn't... Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Unless he wants to put something here and just sort of like. I don't know. Oh, shit. Uh oh. That was a mistake. That's. 
That deserves an oops. Sloppy. Sloppy play. I'll just uh, pretend I drew an avalanche. And I don't know. That There's no... <laughs> There's literally no way to justify that. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Golly, that was so bad. Could kill this. But I think I'd rather get Voice of the Wind out. Playing this out as well as I should have. Uh, okay. So again, we're doing this. So he's actually going to get one less wraithling than he otherwise ought to. Um, yeah. It's probably going to die. In fact, almost certainly it will die, but so be it. Oh, man, losing that Veil Hunter was super awkward. I hope we don't lose the game because of it. Ugh. Death Blighter, that's sort of what I, I fear. Yep, okay, all right. Well, so be it. Then he kills that. He trades a Wraithling for the Fenrir. He kills the Fenrir with his Rejuvenator. He kills my Jaxi with his token. He comes down and kills my Voice of the Wild with his General. All right. Or, I guess... You can do it opposite and kill the, yeah, do that and kill the Jaxi of this general. Ah, man, that was poorly played, and I readily admit that. What's he doing over here? I don't understand. I just don't understand. Well, that's not the card I wanted. Okay. I think I, I kind of want to get this out there, and then I can put this here. Uh, I, I said it said this. I, I put that on the wrong side. Oof. Gotta start paying attention, Zach. Ugh. So what he could do is come here, hit this. Come here, hit this. Okay, he can't quite kill this. That's fine. Ugh. Oh, he's coming after me. Okay. Uh-oh. Seems like a waste of a Wraithling. What's he got? Probably just gonna fly or ah, uh, you butthead. Harumph. Ooh. Hmm, 
it's really annoying. I wanted to get the uh, Death Blighter in here. Don't think that that's going to be possible. Um, and then it wouldn't even kill this anyway. So I think I have to come here, play the Death Blighter like this. And then play Healing Mystic. Ugh. All right, let's get rid of this. Actually, let's get rid of this. Actually, alive. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ugh. All right, there's no way to get it in there, unfortunately. And we have to play this as our first creature. Otherwise, um, otherwise the Oculus will get too big. If he wants to trade for this, that's fine. I think I don't want to attack. Oh, perfect. Okay. So we have two points of damage. Or four points of damage, sorry. If need be. You can also just drop a Storm Metal Golem. Ugh. Cannot help but feel like we uh, made a slight misstep. Well, hopefully, we hopefully it does not cost us. Hmm. Trying desperately to make sure his guys don't die. Interesting. I don't know why. Healing Mystic, okay. Oh shit. Ruh -ruh. Um, I honestly think that I just Ephemeral Shroud this and then Storm Metal Golem here. I don't want this to get huge. It might already be, it might already be too big, or the he, sorry, it he might have already used all his wraithling tokens because he he's only had the two horns and the wraithling swarm last game. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm tr trying to play around Grasp as best I can um, to protect this. And I'm not going to play this out. Obviously, I want to save it for this thing. Oh, perfect. That's pretty good. Let's see where he goes. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm still wondering what he's doing. All right, he has four cards on his hand. Which means that his options are a little bit limited. Okay. So what I'm probably going to do is come up here, hit this, and then come up here and start playing these various things that shoot stuff. Ooh, this might actually be a really good <laughs> Frostbow Naga, too. <laughs> Hmm. 
Let's keep playing. What what is it? Wraithling swarm. This might be an incredible frostbow naga. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this has to come here to kill this thing. This is gonna I'm gonna come. Here, Frostbow not going to kill all these things. Then Glacial Elemental in the corner, and then Snow Chaser, because I get it back up here to shoot one of these two. I think I like that. I think I like it. And I don't think I want to get rid of the other things either. I think I want to play this over, over this, that is. All right, perfect. Okay, it seems like we're in a pretty good spot to win the game here. Especially since we can Hearth Sister this thing into damage. And even Hailstone Prison the Hearth Sister to Hearth Sister this in for damage. That would be awesome. That's 10 damage that I can't run away from oh I'm excited oh he's going into the fr like just right in the thick of it must be a dancing blades nope a primus fist okay <laughs> back. sure What's happening? Hmm. Rock pulverizer. Okay. The toilet sorcerer. I think get out of here. One, two. All right, what I think we want to do is the following. Hit this, hit him. Come here. Put Hailstone Prison, our guy, put it here. Kill this. Attack this. Play Crystal Cloaker to kill this thing. It seems pretty good. We're putting it right on Shadow Nova, which is kind of awkward. But I think I'll survive. And I want to attack this with this thing before playing this out, so we guarantee to hit that. And honestly, I think I just hang out over here. No reason not to. We still have an avalanche. We never cast the avalanche once, by the way. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with leaving this here. There's no reason to just attack for no reason. Plus, we can always hard sister it in if we need to. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Well, we're at 12, so as long as we don't die, I think we're okay. So we got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14... Oh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. Aha! We won! We won. All right. We went 12 and 1 in the gauntlet. Good for us. Let's see what we get. Huzzah. Ooh. Ah. Hey, a legend. That doesn't happen to me too, too often. And a bunch of gold. It's not a lot of gold. I don't know what their algorithm is, but I mean, far be it for me for critiquing how they run things, but uh, this is not a whole lot of gold. Like, it's not even a second gauntlet run, which is crazy to me. It's like, you get a 
you get this regardless, right? So I got a legend out of it and like, I guess almost a second gauntlet run. I don't know. It's, it's disappointing. Hey, but we won. Um, okay, tune back in next time for another gauntlet run. I don't know when that's going to be, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought, changes you'd like to see, uh, etc. All right, this is Zooch's signing off.